The word for today, how's your thinking? When you think creatively, you're thinking like God, your creator. But not everybody will welcome your creative ideas. Jesus wasn't crucified because he worked miracles. He was loved and applauded for those. He was crucified for having ideas that challenged the status quo. God is the giver of great concepts, truths, and ideas. So when he gives you one, don't let anybody talk you out of it. Don't let fear of rejection or failure kill your idea either. After all, you can't do something new and exciting if you force yourself to stay in the same old rut. Don't just work hard at the same old thing. Make a change. And the first thing you will have to change is how you think, what you listen to, and believe. Take a look at the following phrases. I'm not a creative person. Follow the rules. Don't ask questions. Don't be different. Stay within the lines. There's only one way to do it. Don't be foolish. Think of your image. That's not logical. It's not practical. It's never been done. It can't be done. It didn't work for them. We tried that before. It's too much work. We can't afford to make a mistake. It will be too hard to administer. We don't have the time. We don't have the money. Yes, but Paul writes, let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Romans 12 verse 2. The word for today is change your thinking, change your life.